All right, Revo fans, so here we are, the bike that virtually was the inception of e-biking, the Specialized Levo. We're here with the new 2023 Specialized Turbo Levo Comp Carbon. This bad boy loves to rip. That's it, this is the latest bike to arrive here at Revo. The Levo now in its third generation. Uh, Specialized have a massive off-road range of e-bikes. They probably have the largest range on the market. Um, they've got everything from the super light Levo SL up to the Gravity Kinevo and Kinevo SL. So Blake, being the Levo, where does that kind of fit into that range? So the Levo falls smack bang in the middle of all of that. We're talking about a full power motor, a big capacity battery, uh, 160 millimeter fork, 150 millimeters of travel out the rear. This bike's coming spec with a full carbon frame as we uh, denoted with the carbon version. Um, it's got all the bells and whistles, so yeah. Some pretty relaxed geometry, but nothing too crazy as far as the numbers go. It's a real comfy all-rounder. Mate, when I pick this bike up, it's pretty light as well. It's not like a heavy e-bike. Obviously, the carbon frame complete as well, not just the front end. is going to give you a lot of that weight saving factor. But how do they manage to get this bike so light straight away? Absolutely. So, yeah, that's my first thing. When I pulled it off the bike rack uh, when you first dropped it off, I was thinking for this size uh, battery, as well as like, you know, it's a, it's a pretty long travel bike. They've definitely shaved a few kilos off uh, previous versions. Obviously, like, componentry is componentry. You can always put a bit more weight on, save a bit of weight there. But it's very evident that Specialized have done what they do best and gone for super high-end carbon fiber. They've shaved some serious weight out of this frame uh, over the last version. They definitely refined this thing down. Now, one thing we didn't touch on, but when it rocked up, I was a bit surprised this, and I had to look up online. But it turns out all Levo are now coming as mullet, so 27.5, and 29 front, mate, how does that mullet make the bike uh, handle? Absolutely, so I think that the mullet really is super beneficial for e-bikes. Obviously, because we've got that motor so low down and it does have to sit a bit further back within the frame construction, to be able to bring that rear end of the bike back in a little bit, shorten the chain stays up by putting in that 650B rear wheel, it just makes the bike feel so much more agile and gives it a bit more of a nimble feel on the trail with the smaller rear wheel. Now, I guess one of the downsides, if there is, obviously handling is a big upside of having a smaller rear wheel, but people want a 2.9er rear wheel generally in the rear because it makes it a bit more efficient and gives you a bit of extra power. That said, this motor is definitely not lacking power, right? Not at all. So the latest version of the uh, Specialized Turbo Full Power 2.2 motor is putting out a whopping 90 Newton meters. That is crazy. When are we gonna crack three digits? It's just gonna be insane. This thing is got it all. Tell us a bit about the power modes. It's obviously got that awesome TPU display. Um, yeah, tell us a bit about the power modes. This thing comes stock without a box. Yeah, so I really, really am a big fan. I haven't ridden a specialized e-bike for a little while now, but I just felt straight back at home. The, the ergonomics of the, uh, the little mode shifter, the display is big enough to display what you need, but it's, you're not getting full of, uh, you're not getting loaded up with all the information that's just distracting during the ride. So you've got three modes, obviously topping out with the turbo mode. Um, you've got a really good walk mode, actually. That's something that we don't really talk about a lot, yeah. but the specialized walk mode is just, it just actually works. Actually works Most you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't get it to work. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's one thing that specialized really are still the leaders in the ergonomics and how the package comes together. Nice. Now I know one thing about this bike, people that buy e-bikes generally love being able to customize their bike and connectivity. Specialized have been doing the app for probably longer or their own version of the app probably longer than anyone else and have really got it down pat. It's a super easy interface to use. But one of the other things I really like about this bike that comes out of the box, you don't have to buy it as aftermarket, is a lot of this adjustability in the Geo. Tell us a bit about that up front and at the rear. It's a bit of an all-round package, this one. Absolutely. So we've seen this iteration of uh, geometry adjustment from Specialized for a few years now. It started off in their naturally aspirated bikes and then came across to their e-bikes. So we've actually got uh, three different headset uh, cups that sit in and out of the top uh, of the headset there. So between those three cups and a little flip chip down at near the uh, bottom dropout, you've effectively got six different geometry modes that you can put the bike in. Um, this is actually one of the few geometry adjustments that you can really notice a dramatic effect on the trail. Like it really does change the bike. It's, I mean, it's changing that head angle from 63 degrees to I think 65 and a half. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. significant. You're going to notice that. 100%. Guys, that is a bit of an introduction to this bike, a bit of an overview. Um, we've just arrived here at the office for review. Blake's going to be ripping it, so stay tuned to our channel. We're going to be going deep on this thing. As you said, it's probably one of the most Popular e-bikes on the market, easily one of the most versatile e-bikes on the market, appeals to a very, very wide range of riders. So to see 
how far Specialized managed to advance this bike into 2023. Stay tuned to our channel and we'll be hitting you with plenty more.